Hey guys, thought I'd do a uh, short follow up to the RS485 over Wi Fi for the uh, wireless monitoring of the EP Ever and what else you hook it up to. So, um, one thing I did find, um, even using it myself, is that the um, the CompnaCom software, which while it works, it's um, it, it's a bit of a pain to get set up because of the drivers and other things. Um, Put my searching for that, I did find another product, which was um, Hardware Virtual Serial Port, um, which is freeware, which is brilliant. Um, and it seemed to fit the bill fit perfectly, but it just didn't seem to work. Um, so that's why I scrapped it and didn't put it in the video. But then after messing around, I did end up getting it working. So what I'm going to do is, um, this is the website, I'll put a link in the description, um, and you want to go for the hardware virtual C report the single um, and that's the one that's free to use um, you'll get the download here so I'm just gonna basically step through um, yep we want to do the download install sorry we accept the license agreement as everyone does um, yep. that's simple here just gonna go for the default install location um, We just want to use this as a standalone application. I'm going to create a desktop icon. Yep. I'm going to add that to the list of firewall exceptions if you're using Windows Firewall. Um, now we'll finish. Okay. No restart needed. So you end up with this icon. I'm going to fire this guy up. Okay. I'm going to go to virtual serial port. And this is what you need to do is. Um, input 192.168.0.116 um, you can pick any com port you want the port needs to be port 23 and so if we create that com port okay so that should be that's getting created shall we see okay we've got a beep there to say and that's basically windows saying that there's a com port com port being created um so okay now what we want to do is you'll need the to go to the ep ever website if you're doing this with an ep ever and then software and app we're going to go for the controller monitoring software and um, they've recently updated this and um, this is the first time being installed in it. Um, so you can unpack that software. I'm going to go to the PC software. And I'm going to run this. Okay. Okay, once you've installed the, uh, the solar monitor, station monitor, you should have an egg on your desktop. So if you launch that. Um, typically in the first time you launch it you get a pop up saying to um, add the station but <clears throat> I've launched this just once before and this is the latest version that's from the, um, the website which is 1.4 so then if we go to add station it automatically selects COM3 there's only one COM port on this machine um, I like to untick this box um, so it doesn't pop up every single time um, you can populate the other information like such as battery, <coughs> PV arrays and everything, but you can do that down the line as well. So just to get it up and running, we'll click add stations um, um, added to succeed. Now where I have found a strange issue on this machine, I've not seen any other machine. I'll have to go to port configuration. You'll notice everything's populated here correctly with the board rate. Um, and then we just need to click add. Don't know why it doesn't add that automatically which is strange uh, but just in case you get that that's how you get rid of the message and then if we click start monitor um, and as we did before there's the software and what happens is <coughs> this is going to change um, from closed to open you'll see a small amount of information being sent and received um, and then that's basically it's connecting in its um, change you can update that you can update that by doing changing the interval the lowest you can go is 10 seconds um, and I'll do that just so that we can see 
um, if we wait this should change from closed to open um, and then I'll pull some information in there you go so opened get it and then it goes to close now this is why I didn't recommend the video initially is what you'll notice is that it only appears to pull in the max voltage and the min voltage which is very peculiar so what we're going to do is we're going to delete com basically removes the com port everything else needs to stay the same that's fine but we go into settings in NVT enabled if we untick that go back to virtual serial port create com we should get another beep at some point to let us know that that new com port has been created there we go um, it's opened the port and voila it's pulled in all the information so this is much much simpler piece of software to use and you can keep that just running in the background um, there was a server and GUI option um, so I think you can run as a service if you're going to have it permanently in your machine um, for illustrative purposes here I've just installed it that way so yeah basically simple as that uh, my 24 volt pack is running here and um, you can control everything else you could previously so yeah so that's how you use the application hardware virtual serial port um, and it works so much better okay cheers guys